Welcome to MDE 54, day two. So today on the agenda, we're gonna be solving linear equations using multiplication principle like terms and then moving to solving them. And then lots of practice are in your worksheet as well. So to start with, if we're gonna solve equations, we look at what the order of operations is and it's PEMDAS. When you solve, you actually go the reverse. So you do any addition and subtraction first. Like if I had X minus five, I do this piece first. And I do that by undoing with the inverse function. So addition and subtraction undo each other, multiplication and division, and then you work backwards. So to start with that though, the first property is the multiplication property. And that says that I can multiply two numbers as long as they're on both sides by anything I want, as long as they're the same. So if I have two times three equals three times, you know, two, though that's the same function. So what this is saying is if you have two equals two, it doesn't change it to multiply by three. It's still an equal one. So we can use that property to solve things like number one. If I'm multiplying by three, I can divide by three multiplication and division undo each other. And then if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. And that's how I get X equals seven. Now for linear equations, you have to get the variable you're solving for by itself. If it's on both sides, put it on one side. So you're looking to get them by ourselves and then using those inverse operations. So that's similar to what I did for number one. For number two, you're multiplying by 0.5, so you divide by 0.5. It's okay that it's a decimal. And that would give you your N equals 40. So again, inverse. So if I have X minus three equals two, I can undo it by adding, by adding, as long as I do it to both sides and get X equals five. And then if I have something like number four, that's two, times x divided by three equals six. So if I actually multiply by the inverse, by the reciprocal here, then the threes would cancel, the twos would cancel, and then I end up with nine for x. And then this one is x divided by two equals five. So multiplied by two, because that cancels, gives me X equals 10. And those are my answers. <clears throat> so then the next item is, well, what if you have the variables in multiple places? Well, if they're on the same side, you can add and subtract like terms, you collect them. So like terms can be added and subtracted. And you'd already do them with numbers. When you have something like 15 minus 32, those are like terms. They're both just regular numbers. So a like term would be an X and an X, a Y and a Y, an XY with an XY, but not an X squared with an X. So they have to match with the variable and with the exponent. So something like 9X and 3Y are not like terms. You can't do anything with them because they have a different variable. If you have X and X squared, you have to leave them alone. They're the same variable, but they're not the same power. So they have to have the same variable and the same power. So something like 5X squared and 8X squared are like terms, same variable, same power. Something like Y and 7Y are also like terms, same variable, same power. And if you see a variable by itself, it's the same as one in front. So if I go over here, this is really 0.21y minus 1y. If it's just standing by itself, it's a one. Think it's an apple, it still needs to be a full apple. So when you combine the like terms, you take the numbers that are in front, the coefficients, and those get added and subtracted. So that's 15x. This one would be 1 plus 0.54x. Don't forget that one. And then this one, as I'm looking through it, the y's are like terms. 
but the number is not. So when I combine it, seven apples plus three apples is 10 apples and the 16 just stays. And then this one is 0.21 minus one. It's okay that it's a negative and we would just write it out as a negative. <clears throat> so then going into the next item, you would use all that info to solve linear equations. So with linear equations, you wanna combine any like terms. And then you wanna isolate the variable on one side. and then use inverse operations to solve. Okay, so this 4x plus 5x would become 9x. So divided by nine would be four. This one gets a little more complicated. I would have 0.1 plus 1y equals this 181.5. So that's 1.1y. It's okay that it's a decimal. And then we would divide by the 1.1. And so it, it does come out nicely. Y is 165. And then you can try the rest and then check them against the key. And then there's a separate video for the rest.